Let's talk about the Oregon State Beavers. The Beavs coming off a terrific year, 10 wins, ranked 17th in the final eight people. Biggest non-con game at Reeser will be week three, Brady Hoke and San Diego Aztecs come into town. Oregon State has two Friday games on their schedule, including a Black Friday showdown with Bo Nix, their rivals in the regular season finale, November 24th at Autzen Stadium. I'm just assuming that something big will be at stake in that one. If this year was any indication, the Beavs' other Friday game is week five, home game against the defending Pac-12 champs from Utah. So, Yogi, what jumps out to you? Well, I think out of all the schedules that we've seen so far, uh, and even the ones we will see, I, I like Oregon State the best out of anybody <laughs> in the league of how this thing is laid out. Now, here's the deal. Jonathan Smith calls them, quote, special wins, end quote. He said his team needs some of those. Last year, didn't get done against SC. Didn't get it done against Utah. They need some of those special wins, and they have that challenge right in front of them. Utah on a Friday night. Chance for a special win for that program. Then you go down to the end of the season, of course, Washington, Oregon, back-to-back. -back. Chance for a special win. That's the next step now. Right? We'll see what happens with Ben Branson, DJ Uyunglele at quarterback. The spring, that'll shake itself out. Uh, but they got a lot of talent. Might be the best running back in the pack, one of the best in the country returning in Damian Martinez. So I love this team and where they sit and how the schedule's laid out. Now it's on them to take that next step because I like how they're spaced out throughout the season, the big special opportunities for them. You mentioned all that Jonathan Smith has been able to do, and we've watched it build, right, from the year one under him into what he was been able to do over the last couple of years. It feels like he just keeps setting the bar higher and higher. So the realistic expectation for you with this team, and again, there will be some adjustment for the pieces and a new quarterback coming in, but what, what do you think is the realistic expectation in Corvallis? Double-digit wins and get to Vegas. I mean, look, things are going to have to break and injuries, et cetera, but they bring back four offensive linemen, the other players that I've already referenced. They've added players in recruiting and in the transfer portal. And again, I like how the schedule's laid out for them when you look at who they miss. Right? They don't play USC. They don't play Arizona State. Uh, we know what SC is, and we know what ASU could be. But overall, I, I think that's the standard. I mean, they're a play away from beating USC. Four turnovers the following week against Utah. You look at the way the UW game ended. I mean, that's real. Th those are real things. Like, this is not the team that, like, we love to see them compete and can try. Now, this is a team that should have an expectation to get to a New Year's Six Bowl. Big steps. Big uh, infrastructure is in place. Big resources. Everything is there for Oregon State to thrive, right? Jonathan Smith, he's got everything that he wanted. This new stadium, it's everything they wanted. Trent Bray gets an extension. I mean, it, it is... It is on right now in Corvallis, and they should talk about that.